Good morning. Happy New Year. God bless you, and it's good to see you. And we're glad that you could join us in this worship service. Welcome to the first Lord's Day of 2021. I pray that you're safe and healthy. We'll continue to pray for you. Please stay safe, be careful, and continue to practice all of the healthy guidelines that have been put in place by our CDC. This morning, I want to share with you from the book of Hebrews chapter 13, one verse, verse five. Hebrews 13, five reads, let your conduct, or the King James Version say conversation, be without covetousness, and be content with such things as you have. For he has said, I will never leave thee nor forsake you. I want to talk about God's absolute assurance. As we enter 2021, it is a good time for us to reflect and to remember what God has already done in our lives in keeping us, providing for us, and protecting us. And although we don't know all that is in store for us in 2021, we have the assurance of the promise of God as given in this text this morning. The writer of the Hebrew text this morning quotes God as saying to his people, I will never leave you nor forsake you. God is with us in every minute of every day, in every moment, and in everything that we face. And throughout history, men and women have staked their lives on the truth that God will never leave nor forsake us. Abraham, Moses, Rahab, Joshua, David, Esther, just to name a few, knew that this promise was true to them and it is true for us as well. However, in the midst of this promise, there is also a challenge, and that's what I would like to put before us today, is the challenge that is contained in this text as we live our lives in 2021. The first thing that I see that we're told to do is we are to renounce covetousness. Covetousness is usually driven by our wants rather than our needs. God has also promised that he would supply all of our needs according to his riches in glory. Renounce covetousness and be pleased with things that God has given us. We are to restore contentment. This text says be content with such things as you have. Remember that God is working all things out for his good or for our good and Paul stated, even when he is in a Philippian jail, that he had learned whatsoever state he's in, he had learned how to be content. Renounce covetousness. Restore contentment. And the last thing that I would like to share with you this morning is renew our confidence in God. This text says that he will never leave us nor forsake us. He will never withdraw his guiding hand and he will never withdraw his protected presence. God is faithful as he has promised, Hebrews 10, 23. These verses challenge us, brothers and sisters, to renounce covetousness, to restore contentment, and to be confident in our Lord. In 2021, he won't leave us and he won't forsake us. May God bless you. And may God keep you as our prayer. Continue to look out for yourself and for others. We love you. Let us pray. Father, we thank you now for the blessings of this day and for your word and for the assurance that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Continue to protect, provide, and guide us, God. And we give you all praise, honor, and glory. We pray for our country. We pray for the world. We pray for our essential workers and all of those that are on the front line. Lord, we love you. We praise you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 